I didn't go to the moon. I went much further, for time is the longest distance between two places. Not long after that, I was fired for writing a poem on the lid of a shoebox. I left St. Louis. I descended the steps of the fire escape for a last time and followed from then on in my father's footsteps, attempting to find in motion what was lost in space. I traveled around a great deal. The cities swept about me like dead leaves, leaves that were brightly colored, but torn from the branches. I would have stopped, but I was pursued by something. It always came upon me unawares, taking me altogether by surprise. Perhaps it was a familiar bit of music. Perhaps it was only a piece of transparent glass. Perhaps I'm walking along a street at night in some strange city before I have found companions. I pass the lighted window of a shop where perfume is sold. The window is filled with pieces of colored glass, tiny, transparent bottles, all in delicate color, like bits of a shattered rainbow. Then, all at once, my sister touches my shoulder. I turn around and I look into her eyes. Oh, Laura, I tried to leave you behind me, but I'm more faithful than I intended to be. I reach for a cigarette. I cross the street. I run to the movies or a bar. I buy a drink. I speak to the nearest stranger. Anything that can blow your candles out.